Welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm doing something I've never done before. I got an exclusive interview with the most notorious gang in the city. These criminal masterminds are popularly known for drug and weapon trafficking. Every member plays an important role in this organization, which makes them one of the most powerful gangs in the city. As soon as I pulled up at the location, I was greeted by a gang member who's on ten toes because of paranoia. They have been targeted and many hit men have tried to take out their leader, so they have to take every precautions necessary. He then informed the others that there's a guess, and the leader then gave out his instructions. We know him. He then asked if I know who he is, which is a bit ridiculous, because it's my oh, first no, it's okay, time Clint meeting ends. them. Come on. I was then approached by a female. Yes, you heard right, a female, who then gave the second green light and told me to come in. Hey, the car is going back. Stay with me over here. At this point, I was having second thoughts. These aren't regular people all of them have killed before, and that's when I felt a bit nervous. Just nobody say As I was making my way over I noticed they weren't holding regular weapons. These criminals got their hands on some intense firepower. AK forty sevens and M four A ones to be exact. Hey, what's going on, my man? I was then greeted by the leader who told a member hey, here, hey, yo, um, to conduct hey, a search. Can you pat him down, make sure he ain't strapped to shit? Hey, it's just a routine, my boy. No. Come here, big dog. Okay. Let me check you out, big dog. Put your hands up to the side. If you make the wrong move, we'll get that. We're going to shoot you. Hey, big dog. Hey, big dog. What's this? What's this drugs, big dog. You got drugs in here and shit. You got a gun and shit. What's this, big dog? I had to abide by their rules, if not rest in peace, Pablo. Mama, just keep that shit to the side, big dog. Keep that shit to the side. We just have to try to find in here, big dog. Right, come These on. persons are paranoid, as I said before. So it's a survival instinct not to trust no one, which is understandable. Let me go see his face. Yo, I like how you manage your That's game, me. everybody on 10 toes. Yeah, thank you, bro. Everybody try to stay alert. You know what I'm saying? All kinds of crazy shit's going on. We don't know. We don't know who's coming in or what they're coming in through, what the intentions be or nothing. Okay, word. All right, thanks for having me, first of all. And let's just start. So the first question of the day is, how long have you guys been in the city for? We've been in the city since 2022. So basically, you guys have been in the city for one year plus. Yep, straight up. Okay, continuing. So um, what I want to know is what's the age group of your members in the gang? So how old are your members? About 18 to 25. Okay, so what do you think is a cause of like young people to join a gang like do you think it's influenced by poverty or you think they just want to have power i honestly don't know but everything else is played out but i think if you're too young you shouldn't even be in no fucking role play you feel me like you gotta know what you're doing and you should be like a cop or some shit someone else i think people that got you know what I'm saying somewhat street knowledge they should be the ones in the streets because they already know what time it is 100%. I, I like your response. I totally agree with what you just said. Okay, so basically I've seen that you guys don't have no simple firepower. Like you guys have AK-47s and M4A1s. And I want to know how do you guys get these high firepower weapons in y'all gang? Like how do you obtain these weapons? Yeah, we got connections. You know what I'm saying? They come across the border. The border is their main port of business. That's where they collect shipped guns, thousands of ammunition, and even drugs. 
So what they do is they load them up on the trains, and then we got people that work for the government. What they do is they unload them from the train crates and they just drop them off in the middle of the city. And that's where we come in, and we go grab them bitches, come back to the get strapped up, and go kill the ops, because that's what they want us to do. It's all a plan. It's just, you know what I'm saying? We're just, we're just doing work, and the government's moving the fucking puppets, dog. Like, this is just what it is. Okay, so as the most hated and the most targeted, because there are, there are alleged, it is alleged that you guys have been getting some crazy mass shootings aimed mostly at you. How do you deal with these gangs trying to take you out? Straight up, I guess the fuck I've had worse because, like, originally I came from the military. And um, coming from the military, bro, you really take on anything, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people didn't like every came off because we, we moved military. We were the first group to actually start doing ex training exercises, all kinds of shit. Everybody was just moving around like goofies. It was the first gang to really start getting strategic and start moving different. Really, really. Okay. So, all right. I, I couldn't help but notice also, like, when I was coming over... I, I've noticed you guys have been driving some expensive luxury car. I wanted to know, you guys do not work. How do you guys get the money to purchase these vehicles? Like, what's y'all source of income to purchase these vehicles? Well, we'd be, we'd be making some moves. Up. Can you hear me? I think I lost it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I could hear you. I could hear you. Continue. Yeah, so I was saying, um, so like, yeah, we, I can't really tell. My bad. I keep getting my phone getting blown up. Like good, uh, so yeah, so um, so we've been making some real powerful moves because in order to get rounds for every single day, you feel me, to be a war every single day, we're really outside every day. ABK is outside every motherfucking day. There ain't a day you don't see ABK outside straight blazing something, you know what I'm saying? Other people want to find a place to go hide and shit and talk about all this and that. Like, we ain't got no place to hide, you know what I'm saying? The city's our home. This is, we free here, you feel me? This is like, you know what I'm saying? We're just warriors out here on the daily. This is our lifestyle. This is what we do. Yeah, yeah, which leads to my next question, actually, because um, what I've noticed is other gangs, they try to get enclosed areas for their um territories, but you guys, you guys are in the open, and I want to know, like, are you guys scared of getting, you know, sniped? Hell no. Straight up, I mean, we come up as a respect game, you feel me? Because we're really all about money and growth, and we just want to expand and just help people out, you know what I'm saying? We want to help people feel safe around here, working their jobs and stacking their bread. But when people become disrespectful, come facing us, come back, like they're going to do something, like, like they're on some new shit to finish up, nah, we just take ticket there. We want all the smoke on that type of shit. Okay. So, um, you said you guys have been around for a while and it's like a year plus so I want to know how many dead homies have you lost? How many homeboys have you lost to gang violence since you created the gang? About a thousand. A thousand dead homies. Damn. R.I.P. Man. R.I.P. So, um, as a leader, do you roll alone or do you roll with your homeboys? And if you roll alone, like, aren't you targeted while you're on the road, and why? Shit, sure, I ride around with my family all the time, with my ABK family, but shit, sometimes just me and my chopper, and that bitch hold it down too, so I ain't giving a fuck, it's whatever, you know what I'm saying, I'm ready at any time. Okay, so, um, like, we know you guys are the most hated, the most targeted, which means you guys got the feds on y'all backs, um... Uh, we know you guys do not work nine to five jobs respectfully. You feel me? So, like, what? Like, have have you guys been targeted by the feds? Have they tried to stop 
y'all operations and like were they successful in the process? Well, I mean, yeah, I guess they try, but as a matter of fact, there's actually some um, body cam fo- uh, footage on um on TikTok on body on uh, what's it called Black Monster but came off or some shit. And uh, you can see a couple raids of the cast right there and how they perform and how they come in and, and what strategy they come up with. And, like, honestly, it's all the same shit. They really are no shit. So they always crumble, you know. They come deep as fuck. They come with high numbers. They come, you know what I'm saying, as what they call prepared, but they're not prepared because, yeah, we, we, every day we train for this shit. And, like, every day we're, like, oh, shit like this. We know what the cops are doing. We know what the military are doing. Our training reflects their training, so... Of course, we're gonna come every time. That's exactly what my mil. That's exactly what the reason why I was in the military to begin with. You know, saying that we had troops that have been to the to the cops. We want to see what their strengths are, what their strategies are, what their leverages. You feel me? Like once we have all that, we just turn it against them. Pretty much, we use it against them. Oh, so that makes you a veteran. So you know their moves, you know what they're coming with, so basically you're one step ahead. Would you say you're the best shooter in the game so far? I wanna say I'm the top shooter. I wanna say like I'm one of the best shooters. I know it's gotta be someone better. As soon as I meet him, I'm gonna I'm gonna figure out how to be better than him by tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure someone better than me out there. I just haven't met him yet. Honestly, and they became mafia, there's better shooters than me, straight up. I'm not the best shooter, not even in the gang, but yeah, I hold mine down. I catch bodies. Yeah, I catch so many bodies. I gotta, I gotta just, you know, calm down because there's too many bodies. And shit. Not only do they have no remorse, but they boast about how much people they killed. Okay, so one year plus in the city, y'all are up on the gang hierarchy for sure, for sure. Y'all have made a name in the city for yourself. Y'all basically popular, popular, um, popular killers, basically, you know? Um, I know you have been in a lot of shootouts. I know you stood your grounds because that's why you're here. So I want to know how much times have you got shot? Well, I mean, shit, it's just the way I look at it, my boy, it's like, um, just think about two American flags, you feel me? One American flag... It's posted somewhere at a fucking playground up high, looking beautiful, right? Another American flag is on a warship in the middle of the ocean, just on the fucking scene, on the field, on the mainland, you feel me, all day. Blah, blah, blah. Well, how many times that motherfucker got shot? I don't know. He could probably tell you how many times he didn't get shot. That'd probably be more rare, because he's always getting shot, you feel me? And that's, that's what I am right there. I'm on the field like that. Midway in the interview, another hit. Multiple shots were fired which resulted in one person being killed. Turns out that's the person who was placed on the hit. Damn, seems like somebody tried to take you guys out. Another hit, I think. Hell yeah. Damn, alright, sorry for the inconvenience, bro. No, it's all good. It's a pretty nice day today, actually. Alright, so continuing, um... If you if you guys got a clean slate, on if not you guys like you can't speak for everybody. If you got a clean slate to start over, you know maybe be a regular person. Would you trade it in for the life you guys live in right now? Never. I'd be able to take life. I'd be able to take. If I could start over from scratch, like the song says, I would be able to take right now. Again. I'd be doing the same shit, and this is this is the best thing that's ever happened, probably. Like, this is everybody. We're the top gang. He knew that this life ain't for the weak, and once you start, you can't go back. Hence the popular term, you live by the gun, you gon' die by the gun. And, like, if one of y'all, if one of you, if one of your members were to, um, leave the gang, like, would it be a easy departure? Or, like, you, you guys implement, what should I say? If if one of you if one of your members were to leave this game right now, would there be any tension between you and that member, or is it a safe departure? Oh yeah, most definitely. I'd be out for life. I'd be out for life on everything I love, cause 
straight up, straight up. Like when you when you like when you decide to like, um, it just depends for the reason you're leaving. But if you're like turning your back in the game, yeah, you are not for life. Okay, and like during all these years of, of fighting back to back with rival games, how much homies have you lost? I think um, hundreds of homies have gotten away. It's just, um, it's like a lot of people. I used to help out people more back then, but a lot of people got left and I, a lot of leaders from the gang, they also waste a lot of money on this shit, helping people. Everybody does their part. But that's just how it goes. You feel me? Some stay, some go. And the real stay and the big go, but that's how you want it. You don't want the weak to stay. Even after losing hundreds of friends to gang violence, that still isn't enough to make them quit. To settle the score in the streets, they have to slide for their dead friends and get some payback. Okay, well, all right. Last question. Um, I've I can help but notice I've seen um a, um a female in the gang, and I would like to know, like, how did that even come about? Like, this is a rough city. It's a rough street. Like, female in the gang. Like, what do y'all do to protect her? And like, how did she even? come about of being a member of this gang for sure i mean is it cool if i have her talk for herself is that cool he was trying to yeah. get her to speak for herself but it's in her vein not to stay one place too long i think she's gone Honestly, I think it's tough for females, bro. I think it's tough for females and anything. That shit's crazy. Like, there's been some crazy shit that I heard, and I was like, damn, I don't know what females got spoken to like that, you feel me? Yeah, and, like, is she, what part does she play in the gang? Is she, like, you know, one of the hit girls, or, you know, not hit man? Is she one of the, one of the main shooters? Is she a leader? What is her part? Yeah, she's one of the leaders. She's one of the top dogs. She's one of the, you know what I'm saying? She knows, what, she knows what time it is. She's been around for a minute. This was very surprising. Not only is she a gang leader, but she's one of their best shooters. Not something you see every day for sure. Okay, all right. Um, You know, we've come to the end of the interview. She's also a Colt's wife. Yeah, Colt 45 over there. Um, They got the same last name, thinking they are a couple, right? Like Bonnie and Klein. Hell yeah. Yep. Yeah, Mr. Colt. Yes. What's up, Mr. Colt 45? What's up? Yeah, just I just have one question for you, bro. Are we just staying on top of shit over here? He misunderstood what I said. Now, I got one question for you personally. Like, one question. Alright. Yeah, so, basically, bro, I've never seen you in the city. First of all, I've never seen you in the city like that. And I see you driving, like, all gold cars. Your cars are freaking gold. Like, you're in a gang. You don't do a 9 to 5. And you drive all gold cars, bro. What is your source of income? At this point, I'm pretty sure he's thinking of a lie to tell me. I got a mattress company. I mean, I've been moving mattresses at the dock, bro. <laughs> is that so? Really? Yeah, we got a we got an import business. All right, bro. If you say so. It's all legit. It's all legit. It ain't no, no dirty to it. It's all. Okay. All right. Yo, we've come to the end of the interview. Thank you guys for having me. You know, y'all boys stay safe. I do not promote violence in the city, but you know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to stay on ten toes. You guys just stay dangerous and have a good day. We don't promote violence, bro. We just promote staying on top of shit. Always safe. You too.
As you can see, all members are on ten toes at the entrance, probably making sure no funny business is carried out. Yeah, excuse me, excuse me, excuse. I made it out unharmed, thanks to God. Let me know what gang I should try to interview next. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you in my next video by 4 now.